Are you at? Yep. You're at? <laughs> I'm at. Which they sat in the studio all right. <laughs> Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. And we have two remaining bottles of the Purple Ton Hot Sauce. Nice. And so we're going to try one of them. There'll be one left. Yep. I think that's how it works. That's how math works, usually. Yeah. Well, it depends yeah. on who you're talking to. So this math doesn't work for a lot of people. That is true. Right, so we're just going to go with this one. Wow. Nice. So this is... Nashville North. Nashville North? Nashville North. I've never been to Nashville North. It's four out of five. I imagine it's a honky. Ooh, it's going to be sexy. It's going to be a honky tonk. Honky tonk. Swing your partner round and round. Oh, stab yourself with a knife. Oh, there you go. No blood involved. No, this time. No blood sacrifice. This time. So yeah, if it's anything like a Nashville hot chicken, it'll be good. You don't see a chicken in the bottle. Buck, buck, buck. You never know. And it's a little runny to be chicken. Haven't you seen chicken run? I've seen them making weird motions as they move, but not running. You've never seen chicken run. Chicken's feet are kind of weird, so they don't really run. Kind That's of a dog. Bottle. A chicken... <laughs> but they kind of... Anyway, it should be good. And most of the chicken I see is either at a package or at a KFC. I don't really see too many live chickens. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, so this is the Nashville North. Mm. Has to be North. True North. Wow. Too strong. Well, actually, technically from here, True North. Oh, but... <laughs> <laughs> they don't know that. There's no they, compass. They, they do now. They do now. Now they can find your location. Oh no. Some of their face is true north at some point. Oh no. Anyway. So yeah, it should be good. Hopefully it's strong. I hope so. But it wasn't free. No. <sighs> it's gonna have a kick. Oh. Whew. She's gonna be a kicker. It tickles my nose hairs. <laughs> Reaches up, tickle, tickle, tickle. So does that mean it's picking your nose? <laughs> not quite. I'm not. I'm not sticking it up there. No, if it's tickling your nose hairs, is it reaching up and tickling? No. Oh, it's gonna be. It's gonna have a bite. I think this is the one that so far smells like it's gonna be the strongest. It's gonna be stronger. All I can smell is pepper. <laughs> All I smell is the peppers. Yeah, it's gonna be. Wait, you're preparing? You doing some little boss breathing over there? You don't have a pepper baby? <laughs> From the smell of this, this is gonna be a hot one. And I... what, what, you would you say it's four out of five? Mm hmm. Yeah, this could be warm. It's Reaper and Ghost. I probably should have taken less, but whatever. Ready? Yep. Good taste. Slow heat. It's building. <clears throat> it's got some interesting sweetness to yeah. it. Yeah. Like, it says... Almost like a molasses. It says Nashville North, so I'm wondering if there's maple syrup. Yeah, maple syrup or molasses or something like that. Actually, the heat's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's building on the middle of my tongue. Mine is soft building. Oh. So you were stopped and then moved over to my mouth and started building. <laughs> And on that note, <laughs> <laughs> on that note, he's gonna have some more. So it's actually taste wise is really good. It's not bad. It's, I'm trying, it does to, have, I'm trying to place what's actually in it. Though. Like I taste some vinegar, but I, it's the sweetness that's kind of got me. Oh God, why do I always put so much on for it? I can't let me just fill my spoon. <clears throat> yeah, a little bit more tickle in the throat this time. What is the sweetness? <clears throat> It's got to be like a maple syrup or something, right? It's like a syrup. Yeah, well, like I said, my first inclination was molasses. Could be. <clears throat> Should I read it? You can. I'm going to close it so I don't make a mess. <laughs> okay, so apple cider vinegar, dragon's breath, and cayenne peppers. I don't think I've ever had dragon's breath pepper. Yeah, I do them the other year. Dragon's breath? Yeah. Well, I've I mean, oh, no, no. had dragon's tongue. Dragon's tongue, sorry. That's what it was, yes. 
smoked paprika, blue agave nectar, maple syrup, there you go, brown sugar, uh, clarified butter, red onion, garlic, onion powder, garlic powder, cinnamon, um, olive oil, Himalayan pink salt, black pepper. Does it not say Reaper and Ghost on the front of it? Dragon's Breath and Cayenne. Okay, I'm thinking of a completely different one then. Maybe that's why I was thinking it was going to be hot. Dragon's Breath. Very interesting. Well, it is supposed to be hot. It says, like, beyond hot on here. Yeah. But I, I was thinking it was... I would not say it's the hottest thing I've ever had. Like, oh, it's no. not... It's, it's, it's for warm. For me, it's about a two on the heat. Oh, really? Really low for you? Yeah. For me, it's more like a... Four, maybe? I, I get, it maybe? Was, basically, if this is... The heat, like it, it goes in, it jumps, levels, and then just drops. Yeah, for me, with me, there's still like a warm tingle on the tongue, but it's not a very hot. No, that second one it hit more in the throat than anywhere in the mouth when I got it, so it was tickled back there. But interesting, I was expecting a lot more heat than that. Yeah, because I was thinking of different peppers. But it's not, it's not bad. It's definitely that sweetness in there, kind of. Leaves an interesting yeah. aftertaste. Oh, I don't know what I'd put that one on, to be honest. That's, What's it say? The Nashville North says, pairs well with southern fried chicken. Oh, this is Nashville. Uh, chicken wings, shepherd's pie. That that would, wow, well, that would be, be an odd interesting one. one, yeah. Yeah. Hamburger, steak, tacos, deep fried shrimp, onion rings, and eggs. See, it's not like a lot of the Nashville hot sauce I've had. Like, the Nashville hot wings and that tend to be, for me, I, it tends to be more, like, potent. Like, more um, bite to it. Yeah. Where this is more, like, with the sweetness, it kind of tones things down. And the down. ones I've had seem to be more, more in comparison to, like, a Frank's Red Hot. It's got more of a yeah. vinegar yeah, ting Yeah, like a ting. It. Yeah. Where this is just more, like, mellow. Yeah. But it's good. It's not bad. When I was reading the what it paired with, for some reason, the deep... Fried shrimp. At first glance, it was, I thought it said sheep fried shrimp. <laughs> Ma, that would be weird. <laughs> what do you like your shrimp in? I like deep fried with a sheep. It's like haggis, but down. How do you down like your sheep? Fried <laughs> shrimpy. <laughs> you just fill a sheep with shrimp and then bake the sheep, and you got haggis shrimp <laughs> with Nashville hot sauce on it. <laughs> New type of shrimp, it's haggis shrimp. It's haggis That's shrimp. one that Bubba missed. <laughs> That's like if they, they migrated from Scotland down south. Yeah. Haggis shrimp. Yeah, but Bubba, Bubba missed the haggis shrimp. Yeah, Bubba, I don't Bubba. remember any haggis shrimp. No, that was one. He missed an opportunity on that one. And anyway, <laughs> haggis shrimp brought to you by Nashville North. No, it was good. Yeah, so, yeah, I taste wise, I probably put that at about four. Yeah, I'd say about four. Like it's it's not a bad sauce, and you got to think of our scale as like the best that we've ever had is like ten. Um, and also just like everybody's taste buds going to be different. Yeah, so. I mean it's not bad. It's it's like it would still be good on a lot of things. Oh, yeah. It's just not my favorite, but it's an interesting sauce. Yeah, it's not. That's how you say when I if it, five being average. Yeah, it's not above average. It's not like low, but it's just a little touch below the average. Yeah. See, for me to say below average, I'd probably say a, a three or a two in that sense. And then just downright nasty would be zero. <laughs> well, yeah. But yeah, so that's about a four. Yeah, see, it's not bad. Like I said, two for heat. Did I say two for heat? I think I said two for heat. I think you said two for heat and I said around four. Yeah, and then a four for yeah. taste. Getting old. The mind's going. Well, the mind went a long time ago, but still getting old. <laughs> so there you go. Down to one more nasty. So, yeah. Nashville North. And now we've had Dragon's Breath pepper. Which and Cayenne. A four out of five on their peppers. I'll have to look up the Dragon. Like, we've had Dragon's Tongue on this channel. Like, yeah, one of the sauces yeah, like from Dragon's Tongue. Yeah. But I've, the Dragon's Breath. Yeah, because the Dragon's Tongue was an unlabeled one, and then I ended up yeah. growing them, too. Yeah. So, I mean, that one's interesting. Yeah. The Dragon's Breath. It'd be neat to find out about it, so. Maybe I'll have to grow that one. There you that go. Yeah, so thanks again for watching. Don't forget to enjoy the heat, stay spicy. We'll see you next time for our, our final, final one. See, you guys can see it. I can't. You'll know what it is. You'll know what's coming. Woo! Anyways. And on that note, tomorrow. 
We'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Yeah, that's not yeah. good. I don't know why I thought it was Reaper and Ghost, though. I don't know. But it does say, like, extremely Maybe because the last few that we've had have been Reaper and Ghost. Let's see what that one is. It's got uh, sauce in it and peppers. Mm. It's a pepper sauce. Can you imagine it's like, okay, this sauce in here is our last one. It's like, just like raspberries. <laughs> That's it. This is a jar of raspberries. It's jam. <laughs> <laughs>